Hey there planners, today I'm going to be setting up my planner for the month of August. I introduced my new planning system in my last video. If you missed that, go check it out. I'm in this sexy little babe with the uh, cheetah print and I'm super excited about using my sassy new fall planner. And I've got a great sticker kit from Paper Crown Planner today to spice up the inside of August. So go grab your planners and let's get planning. All right, so I introduced my new planner system and now it is time to set up for the month of August. I've got my August book in here. I'm actually going to pull it out, which I think this is so handy to be able to do. I'm gonna pull this book out to be able to plan just in this book, slide this guy over to the side and we will work to set up August. So I talked about this um, you know, this book, I've got my monthly calendar in the in a different insert, but in here is really my weekly, my daily, all my running uh, to do's, my journaling, my notes, all of that other stuff. So I'm really excited to set this up for at least the first week of August and a couple of other things, a couple of other spreads that I know I want to use for the month of August. What I have in here so far is only the front, the inside of the front cover and the first page. I just put a little decor in here. Um, this is an image off Pixabay. I'll have Pixabay link down below. It's a great source of copyright free images that you can use uh, safely in your planners. Um, same thing with this. I just uh, put a a monthly calendar as a reference for August on the front cover. So when I open up to the front pages and really the rest of the notebook is just blank dot grid, uh, which is my favorite, right? I like to create, I like to have that creative space to be able to uh, add in what I need and just turn to the next page and use it however I want. I am using this sticker kit from Paper Crown Planner. Um, this has got this fantastic animal print jungle theme. Um, I have printed a couple of extras of the washi to be able to do daily pages. Um, I've talked about this before, so I know you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about how great it is to purchase printable stickers versus printed stickers. Um, this is a great example. So this sticker kit, I actually reprinted the washi to fit perfectly on my daily pages. Um, with the Cricut buying printable stickers and then uploading it into Cricut, um, I can resize the sticker kits to be whatever size I need and fit any planner that I'm using. And that's exactly what I've done for today. So I'm gonna be using these stickers to set up a few different spreads. I think what I'm gonna be setting up today is I need a place for my uh, content schedule. So I'm gonna be setting that up. I also need to set up a weekly view for the first week of August and then my daily pages. So that's what I'm gonna be setting up uh, in this planner. All right, so the first thing I wanna set up in this August planner is a content schedule. Um, and this will help me planning not only August, but also in September because when I am planning content, I have to obviously film the videos ahead of when I want to post them. So I need to be looking at both August and September. I have cut out these tiny calendars from a printable, believe it come, came from my minimal plan, which is an Etsy shop. I'll have that link down below, but it came as a um, larger year at a glance and I just cut the little months out. Um, and, and so I'm gonna put those down in here. Um, I want a videos uh, ideas list because I like to keep that as well. I grabbed a couple of washies from Simply Gilded. They go right along with my theme um, of, you know, a jungle sort of tropical uh, animal print type theme that I'm going for here. So I'm going to be using those and I may grab a couple of stickers from the sticker kit. I'm not quite sure yet. So um, let me go ahead and get started putting these things down uh, with my um, dual-sided tape runner. And uh, I'll just tell you, I am so excited about this new planner. Uh, it is really gonna be fun. I think, you know, that's the thing. When you're trying out a new planner system, you really have no idea <laughs> how, <laughs> how it's going to go and if you're gonna like it. Luckily, I was able to use a gift card and some points and Amazon Prime Day uh, to a gift card and some points with Erin Condren website and Amazon Prime Day to collect most of these materials um, because, you know, I didn't 
want to pay full price for anything ever. I never want to pay full price for anything. But um, because I don't know that I'll love this new system, you know, I really was cognizant of wanting to save money. Okay, so let me put down a little bit of washi. And I feel like this is probably a page, one of those pages that I will come back to often. Um, so I've definitely wanted it at the beginning of my planner um, to be able to use throughout the month of August. There are 80 pages in this insert book, uh, and I'll have this book linked down in the description box below. This uh, was a purchase off Amazon. It actually came in a set of three. One of the things I really loved about it is, first of all, it was the right size to fit in the Erin Condren uh, Petite Folio system. Um, it's an A5 size, but it's a little smaller um, than your typical A5. Like a, a B, uh, A5 Stology would not fit in the Erin Condren folio system. It would hang over the edges, which, you know, some people that bothers, some people it doesn't. It does bother me. So um, I did not want to have any overhang, so I had to be really careful. I loved these books for that reason, but also because the covers, uh, there was one white cover, one craft folder type cover, and one black cover. So I think that's really cool for the next three months. Um, I'll probably use the black one in October and the tan one in September. So, okay. Um, this needs a title. This is going to be my videos ideas list. Actually, let me look and see if there is a box that I can use from this kit. I love these kits from Paper Crown Planner and they have a lot of sales. Um, she puts her items on sale quite a bit so um, you can always watch out for Paper Crown Planner sales. They recently had a 40% off. I'm going to be watching uh, for the next sale because I want to pick up some uh, Christmas stickers for um, for the Christmas season that's coming up. And I have a couple of YouTube video filming stickers in my se selection, but I'm running low of my favorite ones. These stickers are my absolute favorite ever, and I only have just a few left. These actually came from Pumpkin Paper Co., which is no longer open on Etsy, and it's heartbreaking because um, these were some of my favorites, and then also just uh, the other character stickers were so adorable, and I'm, I just would give anything for this shop to come back or to be able to find uh, a, a similar stickers, similar character stickers. Her characters had red hair, which, you know, was just, I have red hair, so I'm always looking for cute redheaded stickers. Um, so anyway, I missed that shop. I wish it was still open. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give myself the starter list here with my zig dot markers, some of my favorite. I recently did a, you know, planner must haves, the supply list that I absolutely love off Amazon. And uh, these are definitely on it. I use these all the time. So there's my videos idea list started. And then the way I will use this side is to mark uh, batch filming days. I like to batch film. So I'll do, you know, two to four videos in one setting um, for, um, for the days ahead. But that does take some time and some planning. Um, and so I like to mark those. I'll mark those on the calendar with, with um, this uh, dot marker and then list out the videos I actually want to, to film on that day. So that's the first setup. I will use this page quite a bit. I'll come back to this quite a bit. Now I want to go ahead and set up the first week of August. I have a couple of printables I'm going to use. So this is a weekly. And it's actually printed in uh, B6 size, but I like that the way that it's going to fit on here because I can use some of my stickers. Um, and then I also want to use this uh, meal plan, which is just a skinny little column, but um, I'll use this meal plan to kind of plan out the meals ahead of time for grocery shopping purposes. Um, and then I'll still have some room for some notes. This is a printable from shop um, way to plan. I'll have that link down below. I have no idea where this came from. Um, I have looked and looked. Now, I, I think it was a freebie. 
but I can't figure out where it came from. So unfortunately, I can't send this, uh, give this to you and show you where that's from. Let me get these taped in and then I'll come back to decorate this a little bit. All right, so I've got that in. I'm actually gonna pull in, maybe that might be too thick. Yeah, I'm actually gonna use uh, more of this washi because it's gonna fit a little better uh, on here. And I have my monthly calendar. So I talked about in the in the setup video for this this planner, this new fall planner. Um, I talked about having my monthly calendars in this insert. So this is um, a blank monthly calendar insert from Erin Condren. I have this on the first string uh, in my petite folio system. And this is really all of the, where I keep track of all the items coming up. I use this like a future log. Um, so I have this set over to the side and you can see I've already got all the months set up and starting to plug them in. I think this is just so handy. This is a great way for me to um, future plan. So I've got that set off to the side and that's how I'm going to capture all the things that are going on throughout the week. This is a quick glance for me. I don't spend a lot of time putting to do's here, uh, but it's more about appointments, things like that. So I can quickly see without having to go through all the dailies, what's happening this week um, in, in this section. So that's how I'm going to be using this. And that's where I will pull from for this information. And then I think I'll put the tiny ones down here. Now I am calling this my fall planner, but it starts in August and August is not really fall, but school starts in August. So it feels like we're transitioning out of summer in August. Does anybody else feel like that? Or do you think of August as a summer month? I typically think of August sort of like the beginning of transitioning into fall, even though fall doesn't actually start until well until September. Um, I always think of fall as, as August. Okay, I'm going to do just a little bit of highlighting. Of, oh, isn't it? Don't you love it when a month starts on a Monday? It's so perfect. Um, I love that. That's, that's a planner thing. You have to really love planners to enjoy a month that starts on a Monday. Okay. And then the other thing I'm going to do is for the meal plan, I am not actually going to use this for this week. I'm going to use this to plan the meals that I need to grocery shop for this week. So that might be a little bit confusing. I grocery shop either on Fridays or Saturdays, depending on what is going on that week. So really my meal planning for the next week is from Friday to Thursday. Okay, and then what I like to use this section for is a brain dump for the next week. So I actually have a next week sticker. So I will pull that out and pop that in here and that really helps me when I go to set up the next week. You know, I've talked about this before. It's not like there's a next week set up already. It's just blank pages. So I like to have a section for next week where as things come up, I can just come in and pop notes in for the week ahead. And then when I do go to set up next week, I already have some items that I need to, whether they're to do's or, you know, appointments, um, just things to remember, packages that might be arriving, things like that. Um, I have a list here to reference for the next week. So that's my weekly setup. Let me go populate this information from my monthly calendar, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the week all set up. I've got my events plugged in here. I've already plugged in some items that I need to be aware of for the following week. I'm just thinking about as I'm going through this week and thinking about things that come up. Um, so this is going to be a really handy reference as I go through the first week of August. Now I want to set up my daily pages, and I will do one day uh, per page for my daily pages and then probably combine Saturday and Sunday onto one page uh, because they don't typically need a full day. Although <laughs> 
this week it looks like the weekend is super busy so maybe I do need two pages anyway I'm gonna use the kit and I'm gonna go ahead and set these up and then I'll come back and show you what they look like all right so I have my weeks all set up I'm so happy with how it looks I absolutely love this kit from paper crown planner this is beautiful if you want that uh, jungle tropical feel basically I am using the same layout for my dailies that I have typically used in the past and that is having a section for today meaning items that are occurring a section for to do's things that I have to get done and then a little bit of um, health tracking down here taking vitamins and supplements tracking weight and then room for journaling in the middle sort of in the middle of the page and you're going to see that across all of my daily pages very similar to how I set up pages in my B6 Stology. Monday and Tuesday are set up with items plugged in. Wednesday and Thursday are set up with items plugged in. And then um, Friday, Saturday at the top, Sunday at the bottom. I made Sunday just a little bit smaller than Saturday because there's a little bit more going on on Saturday uh, where Sunday I don't quite have as much going on. So. There's my week all set up and ready to go. The first week in August, I'm super excited about using it. I love this kit. It's just gorgeous. I love the colors. It goes with the overall theme. Um, so I am really excited about being able to use this as part of my new fall planner setup and system. And so now I'm going to pop this little guy back into his home. Uh, on my second string, I just open up to the middle of the book and slide it back in. And now I am ready to go for the week ahead. I've got my book there. I've got my monthly plans. I've got my uh, wellness log, which I will start tracking wellness in this first week spread. I've already got it tabbed and ready to go. I probably will not do any decor here. This is just gonna be pin only. Um, and then I also have a place to capture my grocery list here as I get to meal planning this week. So I'm super excited about the way this turned out. I hope you got some inspiration and ideas from it. If you'd like to see more plan with me's in this new fall planner, let me know down in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Plan and Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me.